हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर द थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ द वीडियो सीरीज ऑन कंसेप्ट टू प्रोजेक्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ बाइनरी मल्टीप्लायर यूजिंग लॉजिक गेट्स एंड आफ्टर इट वी विल डिजाइन यूजिंग वेरी लॉक हार्डवेयर डिस्क्रिप्शन लैंग्वेज एस so basically uh, in the binary multiplier we will design this binary multiplier on the vedic mathematics sutras that urdhva trikabam and that's why we say that this multiplier we are taking as a vedic multiplier and here we are going to design 2 by 2 bits multiplier so as already we have seen from the previous videos we start with the concept and here our concept is vedic mathematics and we end here with the design so in this video we will use the logic gates and adders and using them we will design the vedic multiplier or indirectly we can say the binary multiplier of 2 by 2 bits so binary multiplication of two numbers of two bits using the sutras urdhva trikabam let take a look of the previous multiplications uh, number we have taken for the previous video so let take the number is uh, 11 that the equivalent decimal is 3 and 10 which is 2 so how we can do that the multiplication of 11 into 10 using urdhva trikabam sutra so step 1 we will take that uh, right hand side the digit multiplication that means 1 into 0 so step 1 is 1 into 0 then step 2 step 2 is cross multiplication and their addition so cross multiplication that means 1 into 0 1 into 0 plus 1 into 1 So one into zero is zero. Zero plus one is zero. One carry is zero, and sum is one. From step one, we have taken that uh, the result is it in the final answer, as well as from step two, sum sum will taken in the result. So one will come here in the result, and the zero that will be carry out to that step three addition. And whatever step three is, step three is the left hand side digit multiplication that means 1 into 1 so this 1 into 1 step 3 so 1 into 1 plus previous carry generated from step 2 that will be add in step 3 so 1 into 1 plus 0 so 1 into 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 0 1 so we keep this result in the final result so we get here that 0 1 1 0 that is the equivalent of 6 here we are taking a specific number if you are going for a generalized way so we are considering here a number a we are taking as number a having the bits are a0 and a1 so we can take as a0 and a1 that is considered as a number a two bit number multiply with two bit another number let take that another number is b so a into b where a is two bits number where two bits are denoted by a0 the first bit and second bit is a1 in the same way b is another number having b0 and b1 are two bits so again we follow the same sutras urdhva trikabam how we can go with this so what is the step one step one is again the right hand side bit or right hand side multiplication so right hand side bit multiplication that means a0 into b0 so our step is step one is a0 into b0 when we are looking for the generalized that means a0 is the first bit of number a b0 is the first bit of number a and their multiplications in binary the multiplications can be done by your and get because 0 into 0 is 0 0 into 1 is 0 1 into 0 is 0 only 1 1 and get gives you 1 so definitely we will when we are going to implement this step 1 or the product of this a0 into b0 so definitely we will use their and get okay so m0 m0 is 
द फर्स्ट बिट ऑफ आउटपुट रिजल्ट ऑफ मल्टीप्लायर सो दैट इज एम जीरो सो वी कीप दिस एम जीरो इन द रिजल्ट सो दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट बिट वी गेट हियर सेकेंड स्टेप वॉट इज अवर सेकेंड स्टेप इज क्रॉस एंड एड सो ए वन इंटू बी जीरो प्लस ए जीरो इंटू बी वन सो स्टेप टू ए वन इंटू बी जीरो सो हियर दैट प्रोडक्ट और मल्टीप्लीकेशन प्लस ए जीरो इंटू बी वन एज देर इज एडिशन सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू एड टू नंबर सो डेफिनेटली वेन वी एड टू बिट्स दैट मीन्स वी यूज देयर हाफ एडर एंड वेन वी यूज अ हाफ एडर देन वी विल हैव सम सो सम विल बी टेकन एज एम वन एंड कैरी सो कैरी विल बी फिट फॉरवर्ड टू नेक्स्ट स्टेप सो फ्रॉम स्टेप टू वी टेक हियर एम वन एज अ सेकेंड बिट so m1 as a second bit of result what step 3 step 3 is the multiplication of your left hand side digit that is a1 into b1 so step 3 we are taking as a1 into a1 into b3 plus carry out from step 2 what the carry out from step 2 is c1 as c1 is here the carry which is generated from the adder so c1 plus a1 into b1 a1 into b1 that is product or multiplication plus that means definitely here we are going to use adder so we use here that adder and when we add two bit that bit that may be taken as a half adder so half adder will have sum and second bit is carry so sum will be taken as m2 carry will be taken as m3 both are the final digits or the last digits of the final result so m3 and m2 will taken in the result so in this way we can take a generalized generalized considerations that means a1 a0 b1 b0 a1 a0 may be 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 similarly b1 and b0 we are not having a specific number so when we are going for a design then in that case we are going with a generalized variable so this can be taken as a variables variables can have that any value 0 or 1 so how we can implement this vedic multiplier based on urdhva trikabham sutra using logic gates and half adder so look at here what the number we have taken a and a is having that two bits a0 and a1 similarly we are taking as b b0 and b1 so what are step one is step one is a0 into b0 a0 into b0 dot that means here m0 can be implemented using and gate so we are having that a0 as a first input we are having that b0 second input and a0 into b0 we can take as and gate so and gate output that is m0 so we are taking here the output is m0 so this is our step one very simple what is step 2 step 2 is cross multiplication a1 into b0 plus a0 into b1 so a1 into b0 a1 into b0 that means this is another and gate so a1 into b0 is another and gate plus a0 into b1 a0 into b1 so we will have that a0 this is a0 into b1 okay now the and gate this and gate output of this and gate will add and here only two bits are add so that's why it is taken as half adder so it is half adder fine now half adder is having the sum m1 and carries c1 so sum can be taken as m1 so here we are taking that second digit of final result that is m1 so in the same way when we are having that implementation so then that time we are taking that m1 and c1 that will be carry out which will be add with next step step 3 so what is step 3 is step 3 is the final multiplication of or the right hand side multi uh, sorry uh, left hand side digit multiplication a1 into b1 so a1 into b1 a1 into b1 again can be done using and gate so we are having that a1 into this is b1 a1 and this is b1 plus what here it plus the carry generated from step 2 so carry generated from step 2 is c1 here it is the output of and gate which ending 
a1 into b1 and here we are taking that addition that means a1 into b1 plus c1 so it is another half adder so we are taking another half adder that having, that having the input from c1 and the second input is from the output of and gate what here sum is in m2 carry is it in m3 so sum is it in m2 and m3 so that will be the final result digits so at implementation side also we are getting that m2 and m3 so it is just here we find from the expressions from the equations we just implement using logic gates and adder so how we can design using that verilog code or verilog hdl so look at here design binary multiplier that is vedic multiplier in verilog hdl so it is also another a simple one uh, for that you may know the basics of verilog that will be sufficient for design this binary multiplier or a simple 2 by 2 bit multiplier so here you find we are having the two number first number is a0 a1 second number is b0 b1 that means number a having two bits this is another number we can say that is number b having bits b0 and b1 and this is our final result that having multiplier which has m having four bit two by two always you will get that four bit output so if you are looking for this you may find it is simply outputs and inputs a0 and a1 are the inputs b0 a1 a0 a1 b0 b1 are the inputs where m0 m1 m2 m3 are the outputs so when you are looking for the box you are getting here that only a black box what inside it we don't know so this is known as a module in verilog code a black a black box is known as the module where module that means inside in this model we will have that some structure so how we can write the code we start the code with a module then that model name is consider that is the model name is vm underscore 2 that is vedic multiplier of 2 bits what here a0 a1 are inputs inputs are a0 and a1 we are taking that either uh, we are taking here the index of a0 a of 0 and a of 1 so that's why 1 down to 0 as bus we dis, uh, we denote by 1 is to 2 that is a bus a first input second input is b again it is having that two indices 0 and 1 so 1 down to 0 so this is also that another bus having the input is b0 and b1 and what your output output is 4 bit so that will be taken as 3 down to 0 when we start with model it should be end with model start with model it should be end with model now what inside in this box there is some structure there is some logic gates there is some adder so we are looking for it so what here we are having the first AND gate which will ending a0 into b0 and you are getting that m0 so how we can write in verilog so verilog code provides that different way to write the program it may be a behavioral way it may be a data flow it may be a gate level it may be of structural we can say so if you are going with that gate level so this is a AND gate so how we can write the program or how we can write that programming line for this AND gate so that will be very simple so it is simply taken as AND that is a gate level modeling style here so AND is the gate name if we take that if we use that multiple times AND so we are taking that instance name as A1 first input first entry is always output always here we have to write the output first when we use that gate level modeling style m of 0 comma then inputs input sequence you can write whatever that a0 b0 whatever we are having that so this is simple line of and gate code in verilog what our second gate is we are also having that second gate a0 into b1 and what the output is s0 it is not directly going with that m1 because it is connected with some addition we are doing that some addition so that's why this is a signal internal connections we used so that's why we are using the wire that is internal connections 
purpose. So while we use here that 3 bit 2 down to 0 out of that S of 0 we use here. So S of 0 is the output of this second AND gate and A0 and B1 are the inputs. So we are taking that AND is the gate name. A2 is second instance. What here the output is S of 0 inputs are A0 and B1. Then we are having that another gate, another AND gate. What their output is S1 inputs are A1 and B0. So how we can write that AND instance is A3 output is S of 1 input is A of 1 and another input is B of 0. What here we are going to do the addition of these two AND gates. So for that we use that half header. Half header is having the output is sum that will be M1 and carry. So here carry is another another internal wire. It is not the direct output. So that's why we have to define here that another wire that is C. How we can add that half header? So half header is a pre-designed module. This is a pre-designed model. So we have to write the some program for half header also. So if we say that half header is already pre-designed, so we can use as a module. So model name we are taking as HA in place of half header, we can take as HA. This is HA. And let's consider that if we use that two times, so we can take that first instance here we use. So HA1. And what here? Dot sum. This is an implicit. Uh, this is a uh, sorry. This is an explicit mapping. That means what the sum is connected with. This is the output sum. So sum is exactly connected with M1. So dot sum is the actual output of half header when it is designed. And which is connected here with M1. So C out is another output of half header when it was designed and it is connected here with C. So that is explicit mapping. Here input A is connected with S of 0 and input B is connected with S of 1. Okay. So this is for your half header. What next thing is remaining? So that is another adder, sorry, another AND gate. So here we use the AND gate which has the output is S2 and inputs are A1 into B1. So here AND A4 that is S of 2 A1 into B1 that means ending of A1 and B1 and this S2 and this C that will be add. So we use another half adder. So we are having that half adder and second instance. So its sum is actually connected with M2. Sum is actually connected with M2. Then C out is actually connected with M3. Then input A is connected with C. Input B is connected with S of 2. So this is a very simple way of Verilog code. After that we will see the implementation. How we can implement, oh sorry, how we can design in Verilog code actually. So we run with the simulations. We will design this binary multiplier in Verilog SDL on Xilinx platform in next video. So do subscribe for more updates. So we will see the design of 2 by 2 multiplier in Verilog SDL on Xilinx platform in next video. So thank you very much. Thank you for watching.